fucking sight, <laughs> knave. I, I like that free, coming through. Free yeah. action to rebuke. <laughs> yep. Uh, so now she can channel everything. Um. The standard action. How many channel attempts do you have left? Uh, I have two left. Okay. And After go. this one. Uh, hit, miss. What are you doing? Hit. What are you doing? Oh, I thought it was Sakari. No, it's uh, Elinari. Sorry. Just a for eight. <laughs> Sakari is channeling while full attack. I, 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 I like the concurrent, you know, thought processes of both Manakai and Tina during that. And the DC twenty. Come on, Raptors! You can do this. Oh, no, don't. All you have to do is bow leave. <laughs> uh, that is absolutely not true. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are only raptors. Yeah. Dazed, dazed. Not a gecko. Oh, we can attack the other one and we can kill something. That would just be fabulous. Well, it does 13 damage. You know, maybe it's enough. Might be. Doesn't look like I think I have a whole lot left. Thirteen. There we go. Good gecko. Well, that's it. Probably a raptor. All right. Um, I guess we're going for nine first. Could you perhaps remove the corpses, Jonas? Ooh, that's a little too many hits, but uh, let's see here. It starts out having, um, that is 26 on 9. That one. For 26 damage. Get wrecked. In 16 for that one. And then we have 24 for that one. You want to remove your uh, your little radius template too, mana guy? Yep. And it'll get its... Five. <laughs> Sakari. Um... No, I'll go here. I'll take that one. I think 17's like... <laughs> with the Homer Simpson face. Yeah, it's making... Uh, it has a lot of mixed feelings right now. <laughs> Everyone I've ever loved and really hated, but still... It's a bad day! Kind of balances out. <laughs> so, you know, touch and go. So, yeah, I'm that right person that... They're all hits. Yay. <laughs> I don't think it was 500, but sure. Yeah, it might as well have been at this yeah, point. True. Sheep, that is entirely Brilliant. irrelevant. Double move. Presents <laughs> being fabulous. I mean, <clears throat> hello. <laughs> the goblin in it comes out for a second. In turn. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's let's see if we can take two, take down two at once. Um, judgment will strict strict change from vengeance to destruction. You know, just yeah, extermination is another job. And I'm going to go ahead and first one's going to be on the. Um, Number seven, and then go to number three, and if that succeeds, well, I'm out of targets. <laughs> so that's 16 damage on seven. The 19 plus 16 on three. That's 35. And a 
and a five for step that way. Tristan? Mm-hmm. Um. That's one left, two left. Two left. Pass is flash. Certainly good. Well, you're not going to hit them on anything but a 20. Well, it's within 35, so I can hit. Oh, roll it on d20 and see yeah. It would be a question of whether you wanted to use any of your more powerful spells on them. I don't think so. I don't think it's necessary. Why would I want to do that? Exactly. Ah, yeah. oh, attack frame. It's been a ta- long, long time. Yeah, a long time. Um, range, touch. Bad touch. Don't get your haste. My it's still my hand. Roll your D three. <laughs> yeah. Three acid damage. Three acid damage. Get red, Jonas. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> you cannot handle this level of acid damage. DM. Yeah. This is turning out very antagonistic. Uh, sin. <laughs> Or evil. Then we'll shoot at things. So Zin's gonna spin around as a turret and just kill everything. Yes. That's the plan, and I think it's working out. Uh, the first yeah. attack would be 23. What? <laughs> yes. Okay, good job. <laughs> good job. Yes. Again. 23 is 23. That is correct. <laughs> Let job has math. basic math. <laughs> Against Raptor 6. Yep. And. Well, honestly, that should probably kill both of them. Five a, five a step, shoot down there. Yeah. Five a step. Keep shooting. The shots go here. Keep shooting this guy. Attack. 14 Attack. damage, a... 10 damage. A huge amount of critical damage. Dead. Combat is over. Yay! Good job, me. Congrats. There we go. You know, <laughs> um, <loud. laughs> I, I might want to heal my own wounds now. That hurt. Don't stand so close. <laughs> it's dangerous. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, as the big raptor died, it seems to sort of explode and bubbly dissolve like the cat did. Uh, Zin, you get fast healing uh, one for ten rounds. So, plus 10 hit points? Basically, yeah. In the uh, Calamitous... uh, After the Calamitous fight, uh, there is an eerie silence in the mine, where the before were (laughs) horrific echoes and and battle (laughs) screams. There is no nothing. Rilden nods, you know, as he stands guard the whole way. Everything went according to plan. Who the hell? What? <laughs> it's, it's written as dot docs. What? I'm, I'm, I can't edit. I can't edit the Ellie button while in player mode. So um. I'm looking into the limbo map and changing it. Okay. I, know, I already, I, I already tested the fix on single player, so I know it's gonna break. I, I, I mean, I guess you can take care of this now. <laughs> Literally, it's like one line of code change. I know what I'm doing. Uh, does Ray, uh, Ray need some healing too? Yeah, I don't have a whole lot. <laughs> You do realize that I was being sarcastic when I said making noise is a good idea, right? It was a great idea! <laughs> and there's a frown and says, I think it worked out well. Indeed, it was better to lure them out into an area where Elunary could illustrate the power of Agaris than to fight them in their various passages and birthing chambers. We could have been surrounded in there quite easily. Here, however, we had an advantage. Well, I suppose it was certainly effective. All you should care about are results. That's all in area for for healing today. Well, I'll go ahead and brush off the uh, Wand of Cure Light Wounds. I mean, even though we might not want to get into another combat, the combat might still find us. 
Yeah, exactly. We're just spend all the resources possible. Roll 1d8 plus 1. This is for sheep. That's, uh, we'll do one more. That's, uh, all of that on sheep. For Alabnari. We'll, we'll draw some lines here. There. There's that. And that's 13. That takes you up to 46. We'll do one more. That should be uh, 50. That 50. should be sufficient. And then for the for the end, <laughs> undead creatures. <laughs> They're fine. Yes. Please. Your light wounds. <laughs> I, I, I honestly don't think I, I would have enough charges to actually take one of them down with their fast healing fire. <laughs> well, maybe the gecko. The gecko is actually not that tough. It's, it's much more utility thing, usually. All right. Oh, we have 19 charges left in the wand. Right here. Deactivate all these mods. Mm-hmm. Yep. Alan area only has two charges left, so if we could not uh, two channel attempts, so we could not go into like huge combat, be nice. But how no. long does the obsidian difficult terrain last? You know. Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, there we go. Oh. Spell duration doesn't actually have a duration written. Just. This just says instantaneous. Yeah, it oh, yeah, it'll last forever then. We would have to sweep it out ourselves. You've mel melted the floor. Well, it's it's permanently okay. melted. Mm. Well, well uh, we can we can just walk over it. We won't get any damage or anything. Yeah, no. we, 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 we can just walk over it. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty powerful when you actually just melt the floor. Oh, you don't fall over. Yeah, and then you get uh, damage. We can explore uh, other areas first and foremost. Might as well start, I guess, up here in the north. And again, so, that's yeah. likely a, like a natural path or something. So it might be worth checking out the constructed paths first, because that's there, likely where all the good There's nothing natural about a mine. I, I will slit your I throat. Suppose. I will slit your throat. <laughs> I mean, it, it's it's less like The dwarf refined. has created a series of natural passages and caverns. <laughs> Is oh, there, you know what I mean, Grimmett. Come on. Is there any interesting remnants of the exploded raptor? No. It's only sludge that sort of oozes and broken machinery. I don't know Daria you, would find that fascinating, but... I don't know what you mean, Sheep. I don't speak German. Mach schnell! Meaning is not German. It's meaning. <laughs> it's universal. Oh, 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 you're trying to explain my own language to me. <laughs> Might as well start at the beginning and then proceed further, though. She, it's not a big deal. Yeah, sure. Let's see what other stupid constructs the dwarves have made. This gate only falls if the door is successfully opened. Using the correct manner. <laughs> In case one of our own tries treacherously opening it. Yes, in case the overseer ever tries to leave his office. They actually hated the guy. <laughs> like, uh, nobles are not welcome. The the trap wasn't actually a trap, it was just a prank. <laughs> actually made by Zvirf Neblin. Oh, come on, not narrow passages, that's not fun. All right, well. The uh, path uh, terminates as what seems to be a cave-in of sorts. Well, the goat cranes his head looks down sideways. All right. It is good then that we took the time so we did not have to look later. You wanna go? We can go south and then cross the difficult terrain later. Like, we might very well hear any creature that's trying to cross over the difficult terrain. Yeah, the crumble there. piece of obsidian. Yeah. Although I don't think any creature would be interested in coming out here now. <laughs> That's, there's quite a bit of carnage. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of blood and horror up here. It, 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 might, it might frighten any raptors who were not in here. <laughs> Trying to come back. It'll make back, them very like, happy as they eat their brethren. Uh, yeah, no. 
So if we find X, what are we gonna do? Cook him. Uh, oh. Sure. Sell him. I mean. Bring let's, him to our let's future Let's burn that bridge once we come to it, I suppose. And, and these small. are just like little decorative pillars with uh, dwarves striking down elephants or goblins or whatever. <laughs> yeah, some some such, like fighting off uh, evil drow and other dwarven heroics. Yes. There was some sort of text somewhere we had to... Uh, there seems, uh, you know, the pillars certainly have dwarven runes. Seems to be mostly like, you know, famous miners or something sort yeah. of engraved in it. Whatever. Let me read to you the hundred names of the Sakharov mine. They're dead. <laughs> Everybody's dead. That's right. Let's hope they stay that way. Oh, let me see here. Right. This isn't just a normal stroll, however. This is an ostentatious. I am fabulous. Plot. Swagger. Yes. Brilliant has swagger. Once again, <laughs> another battle in which he sustains zero damage. <laughs> he is truly gifted. <laughs> truly. Everyone else truly. around him just keeps getting hurt, but only him. Only. <laughs> Brilliant does not understand. That's right. Uh, yeah. Walk down the corridor here, certainly. And yes, uh, walking down here, the rest of you also noticed this, uh, this quite ostentatious and, and imposing door. How ostentatious are we talking about here? Really, it's done some ostentatious shit in his day. You know, quite ostentatious. The sapphire itself seems, seems quite valuable. Uh, the mithril engravings is certainly not cheap. Um, bring them that door home with us. Really, did. Uh, there, are, there are runes uh, marked on the door. Uh, runes uh, that does say that to Rillant seems to read Lightning Lock, Blessed Key, uh, by order of Rocknos, and a lot of other sort of dwarven prayers seem to be uh, engraved into this door. Rillant's not even going to bother to roll. He's going to point at the thing and say, We're not touching that. We could allow the. Uh Raptor to touch it. <laughs> Looks left and right and says, I would only suggest doing that if we were all in the main hall. You saw what traps the doors had prepared for a simple door made out of stone, for one as gilded and bejeweled such as this, particularly with the word N. Really, we'll call the word lightning. I have my suspicions. There you go. We can be as far as ways. Well, I will have to be able to see it. Well, it looks at Bellinary and says, Your joy, sister. So I suppose we can wait until we've discovered the rest of this place. Yes. Maybe there'll be a convenient key somewhere. There might be. You all can go ahead a little bit. I will stare at the door. See if I can find another means of opening it in case we do not obtain a key. <laughs> Fucking like undead large creature shoulder pass. <laughs> <laughs> They're not nice about it. Nope. Yes. And the neighbor is like, oh, excuse me, coming through. <laughs> Crash bang. Smack. It's, not, it's not a problem for real, then. Like a ninja just like darts himself up to these between the ceiling. <laughs> yep, now stay here for all of two minutes, Jonas. Mm -hmm. Staring at this fucking door. You may do so. Well, we don't even want what's behind it. We want the door. And, and then, you know, I'm going to remove it. I'm going to get a tensor's floating disc and I'm going to take it back to Sandpoint and I'm going to see how much Proto Quink wants for it. <laughs> Oh my, yes, look at this. <laughs> oh, the, the beautiful stones. I suppose the dwarfs, don't you know? I wrote a treat, see, no one believed me. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, you look around. You see the caverns as I described them to, uh, to send before. So, I mean, you're free to continue if you want. Well, I'm, I'm not the one to restrain dynamics. I'm waiting for dark. I'm here. I'll never know what happened last time she went first. She got hit by Cave-In and almost died. Or also the kobolds. <laughs> and a lot of other things, really. Yes. 
I've been trying to kill him. Actually, actually, you're remembering the kobolds, though. Yeah. You know? If, if there's any situation in which Elenary has grown, it's not to go first. Mm-hmm. Let, let the others go first. Let them take the uh, brunt of the enemy defenses and stay always within here, the reach of your undead. As for kobolds, again, like, traps out here in, like, the hallways where traffic is actually seen dark, I don't think that'd be an issue. It'd only be if, like, there's actual closed door. Or if, for example, a sheep spotted an area into which there were no tracks. I like gotta look in the room. Like, uh, you know, she's just in slow pathing straight by. Mm-hmm. Well, you didn't see them. Might be anywhere. It, it, I don't think it, it's not active anymore. It, it turns the back on. Like. It like in six <laughs> seconds. So. It, it's not the great invisibility. He's using the ring again. Oh, okay. Which he has to recast every three minutes. But why not? Well, we don't care. Uh, seems to be another uh, of the old mining uh, operations been here along. Again, a lot of broken tools and other things. Uh, remains of dwarven mining activity. Bumps in. Bumps is in. <laughs> Bump. Hmm? Oh, I didn't know you were there. Uh, I was Jonas was internet hiccuped again. Mm. God damn everything. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it, everything. Gosh damn it. I gotta connect again to the fucking room. Just Have I disconnected from yeah. the server? Yeah, you've done that. Mm. Yeah. You did. I think yeah. I think that lightning storm yesterday maybe took out something again. Yeah, we, yes, Dabber Hall is here. It's here. God damn it. You have a million gold pieces each. Fuck it down. <laughs> Flip table. <laughs> but we weren't even looking for it. Oh, yeah. there is. You, you, using one of the emoji, yes. Just yeah. I, I did. Uh, someone told me in the comments somewhere that there is a, like a. Map tool equivalent program that actually has a flip yes. table button. It's like a tabletop simulator on um, <laughs> Steam, I think. Yeah, I I really want a flip table button. It permanently <laughs> erases the campaign file. The oh, really? It does? I don't know. <laughs> oh, that would be great <laughs> if it did, though. Players could play it, yeah. No, but, then, boom, it's it, gone. It, 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 GM clicks flip oh. table. Just okay, so. It, what it, what it does though, it doesn't actually erase the campaign. But the thing is, basically, you always have just like board, like in real life. So the fact you would literally just flip the table, there'd be nothing left to be able to put everything back on the board properly. Yeah. All right, Jonas, yeah, just we'll get it back that. on. Mm-hmm. Wow! Just mm-hmm. look at that room. It's so miny. Eleanor wonders what they would have been mining here, but you know, guess she'll never find out. Because who would ever know that sort of thing? <laughs> well, is there a kind of mining consortium with only interested in the rarest materials? I think they were mining metal. Yeah, Thanks, maybe. Professor. <laughs> they were actually mining clay. They could have been mining uh, gemstones, right? They could have. Hey! Or rock. I'll be hoping they're doing. Oh, yeah, mining rock. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the prestigious. This is a <laughs> like the quarry. Mine. I paid this much attention just to get rock. Yeah. Hmm, does that obsidian look familiar to you? With close access to the surface. It's just yes. like, hey, look, someone f- cast obsidian floor over yeah, there. Like the, the desert people selling sand. Oh. Oh, very... Another another looming staircase that descends into blackness. We still have to find the layer of the layer of that big thing. So, meanwhile, by the door. This <laughs> <laughs> uh, is quite. to the fourth dimension. Uh, Rillanid uh, does indeed, you know, he has studied this door quite carefully. It is very much locked. Uh, there is no way of actually picking it from the, uh, from the outside, he thinks. Um, you know, it seems incredibly sturdy. He doesn't even know if, if 
the party has any means of actually forcing this door open. Um, it is also warded. Uh, the runes and the uh, the gem seem to be the focal point. He he knows that anyone grabbing the uh, uh, the handle uh, trying to open the door without first having turned the key will most likely be hit by uh, by lightning shooting out from that gem. Let's see. Uh... All right, detect magic. It's magical. <laughs> oh. Um, see, so yeah, really it does have an effective disabled device. And uh, let's see, what kind of like trap is it? I just is really like, is there like a way to even like determine that or? Um. Well. It, it just, uh, you know, it, like he does have like that magical like trap. He can disarm magical traps. Not that I want him to attempt it. Yeah. He, uh, he, he. It is a magical trap. He could, he could try to disarm it. Uh, depends on what you have in your on your like disabled device check, basically. Right. I just it looks, know. it looks quite tricky to okay. disarm. So extremely difficult, and uh, basically just going to shoot out a fucking gout of lightning. And we're giving it this trap. It's probably going to end up resetting after a short amount of time as well. Hmm. Or maybe it's only a one shot. Maybe. Dauf, dauf. <laughs> that fucking dwarves. No, they threw an iron gate on my ass in the overseer's office. Just stream lightning until kingdom come. Alright. Well. They build a door of mithril yeah. with, with gems in it. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know what they got. I'll find them. <laughs> Speed walk. I don't think it's what stone shaving it around. Power walks, that's how he, you know, he exercises. Mm -hmm. My 40 foot movement speed. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, look at those corridors. Sin hears a strange sound. Can he further identify those strange sound? It seems like something is sort of, uh, you know, something is in pain down here. Cl clearly. Awesome. Well, Sin will sign back to the party, then realizing that he's invisible. <laughs> so that's not going to work. So he's going going to quickly turn visible and sign sound south and then turn invisible again and check it out as he sneaks forward well there he didn't know where it is so he'll he'll scream if there's something wrong <laughs> he probably will so where's the sound coming from exactly here or here for the south off, so let's go there first. Actually, no, let's not go there first. Okay. We're getting cuddly up here. Uh, before Sin, on the ground, uh, lies a wounded Shakiri. Uh, it seems to be, you know, quite uh, quite worse for wear. Uh, it seems that the raptors basically got to it and uh, was in the middle of sort of, you know, eating it up or you know, ripping it to pieces when they probably were interrupted by someone attacking an iron grate. Um, the uh, the creature looks pitiful uh, and sort of looks up to, to Sin. It's like slowly... Trying to sort well, of he, draw he, itself, uh, draw itself further back, sort of hissing a bit. Um, you can't actually see or smell them, though. Oh, the smell is still in effect. Yes, how, that's how for long? four hours. Oh, okay, then it doesn't do anything. It just lay, lies there. Anything else in this room? Well, there is the mining shafts to the south. Uh, now you had to ask. He has to reveal the right. Well, if it's just a hunting cat, then Zinn is not going to care. He had he encountered some hunting cats before, and she has no love for hunting cats. Not after the. It seems they're rather big and powerful from being a hunting cat. But, you know, you could you, you could save you get rid of the dire bat, and then you know get a hat of greater disguise, make yourself a small creature, and ride it as a mount. <laughs> that sounds like an excellent idea. Yes, small size gives you plus two dexterity with all their stuff. And small size, all the ground extra plus one to hit. So this is basically a 
more than usual, more than words, a more powerful than usual looking hunting cat. Yes, it seems to have been uh, quite a fine specimen in its day. Now it's quite wounded. Well, you know. You have a lot of empathy. 